So first thing we're going to do for this object that we're pushing up a ramp is draw a free body diagram. Always draw a free body diagram. So I'm not going to draw it on the box this time. Okay, we have our force due to gravity pulling straight down. And it's called MG, so we'll start writing it as MG. And we have F normal perpendicular to the surface. So if this is our surface, perpendicular would be like this. And we're pushing it up the ramp, so we have that applied force. F applied. And since it's moving upward on the ramp, our frictional force is downward on the ramp. Friction always opposes motion. So would this be kind of uh, like the root problem we had? Similar to it? With problem? The, like the root, like uh, we were applying the force. Like oh, similar. But this is actually on an incline this time. Okay. Okay, so we also need to break it apart our force of gravity. So here's our theta. So this component right here is mg sine theta. And our y component is mg cosine theta. And now we're going to write our equations of our equations, our system of equations. F of x. So our x direction equations. Let's do those ones first. So our forces that are acting in the x direction, well, we have force of friction pulling downwards to the right. We have force applied pulling upwards to the left. And we have mg sine theta pulling downwards to the right. And we can always include arrows on these two. OK. So we're going to call the direction that it's moving positive. So what direction is it moving? Left. It's moving left in our new x-axis, right? So force of f applied would be what, positive or negative? Negative. Positive. positive. We're calling left positive because that's the direction it's moving. Okay, we're going to call the direction it's moving positive. So f applied is positive, f of friction is negative, and mg sine theta is also negative. And this equals m a. And our acceleration is only in the x direction, so I'll just label it as x. OK, so there's our equation for the x direction. Now we want to write an equation for the y direction. So our, our y equation, I'm going to skip a few. You should skip a few lines, leave some space. So our y equation is, well, f normal is up. And up is still positive. So f normal is positive. And our downward force is mg cos theta, so minus mg cos theta. And is the box moving up and down relative to the incline? No. No, so ma is equal to 0. So we can say f normal is equal to mg cos theta. OK, so now we can substitute. We know the force of friction. What's our equation for force of friction? Mu times what? Fn. Fn. So here's Fn. So let's just substitute. F applied minus mu times Fn. And there's our Fn. We get F applied minus mu times mg cos theta. Now we want to solve for a. So what do we have to do to the equation? Divide by m. We can't just cancel the m's because there isn't an m in every factor. F applied does not have m in it. M in it. So we can't. OK, so we're left with acceleration is equal to this whole entire thing right here. F applied minus mu mg cos theta minus mg sine theta all over mass. So there's our derivation for acceleration. If you can do this with no numbers, there, you will have no problem doing it with numbers. Okay.